Hi. So why should we write research papers? It's not rocket science. It's very easy. First and foremost thing, which which we all understand that it, it, it gives you a lot of clarity of thoughts and gives you confidence upon the subject. It is very important because most of us are uh, teacher. Most of us are coming up with the complex situations in which the knowledge which we have acquired already may or may have uh, not been enough or can be challenged by any other counter theory is very, very uh, uh, somewhere in the uh, point of future. So, and that's why it is very important for us to have an absolute coherent idea about the subjects and the variables that we are studying, especially um, the specialization which we are gaining as an academician or as a, uh, an industrial expert. So that is why it is important for us to uh, continue to write research paper because it's not only writing research papers, when you write it, you publish it, you debate it, you present it in front of the people who are having more or less a fair idea about the subject you are talking about. So you, you go and do question and answers, you cross-examine yourself, people scrutinize your papers, they debate upon it. So all these practices enhances everybody's knowledge and concept about the subject and also strengthens your confidence upon the subject. The more you get cited, the more you get studied, the more you get countered in, in the subject you're talking about, you kind of uh, get in-depth knowledge about it. Your your thought gets clearer and your confidence boosts up. So that is, that is the direct benefit of writing a research paper. But this is not something very motivating to most of us. So let, let's talk about which is more uh, measurable and uh, directly motivating for us to write a research paper. So, right? so you must have gone through the terms called H index and I10 index. So these are uh, the measurement of you getting established as a quality researcher, a researcher who is having acceptance uh, for the arguments and opinions uh, you are making after your thorough studies. So once you publish your research papers, like you have cited others research paper in your paper, your paper also gets cited in others uh, papers or thesis or any research document for that matter. So in that process, what happens is uh, as much as your papers get cited, your score increases. So there are two methods of measuring the score. One is called H index, which is established industry practice which has been happening uh, from quite a long time uh, and another new index has come which is called i10 index uh, which is basically launched by google scholarly and uh, it is less complex and uh, uh, it it's, it gives you very quick calculation about how good your uh, the researchers index is in in the fraternity of research papers so quite in depth h index is uh, like number of research papers you have published and how many times those papers who you have published which you have published have been cited in others uh, research journals so h index is the measurement of both uh, number one number of papers published and number two number of times these papers have been cited right so i index is again the same thing it is the uh, uh, it is the number of publications which are having at least 10 uh, citations. So if you have 100 papers, but out of those 100 papers, only five of them are cited for uh, 10 times, then your I index is, I10 index is five. All right, so this gives you a very mental calculation of what has happened uh, about all the publications that you have published so far. So, the, so what is the end goal of these indexes? So uh, out of many end goals, like uh, you getting better opportunities in terms of universities or fellowships or grants or uh, colleagues, co-researchers, uh, co-publishers, co-authors and uh, easy entry into the upcoming journals. These are the benefits, uh, but also the final zenith of this benefit is that you can uh, win a Nobel Prize. So anybody who is winning Nobel Prize in, in research and scientific segments uh, are having quite high H index and I index. You can explore to some of uh, the I index and H index of the researchers who has recently got Nobel Prizes.
Yep, so opportunity to collaborate with infamous uh, researchers of your domain, of your specific, we always have uh, a, a teacher or a guru or a person who is extremely famous for the kind of researches uh, with happening in your domain and your area. And you always tend to uh, see some uh, yourself getting associated with those names. So as much as you get famous, your citations, your score goes up, you get more chances to get visible, observable and uh, shortlisted and in fact ultimately becoming the co-authors or the team of the mega research projects or uh, yeah, so getting into some good laboratories or institutions or company right, where your H index and I index are considered very, very much. So these are some of the big uh, facts. Another which is like um, ultimately we all talk about money and we think that the end goal uh, should be liquidated in some or the other part uh, as wealth or money. So yes, if your H index is high and if you have a reasonably good amount of research papers cited by other fellow uh, researchers, then it is chances are very high that you will get grants for uh, investigating something you've been investigating very thoroughly. And uh, you know, like we all will agree that as a researchers, we invest a lot of money, resources and time in finding some truths. And if you get grants for doing them, uh, these things, then you will agree that you can uh, multiply your uh, results uh, and uh, you can be very happy for the kind of efforts you are making. So yes, you get a lot of uh, grants in doing that. Yep, so uh, uh, did I tell you about job opportunity? <laughs> yes, so that is that is also uh, one of the very important thing. You get uh, uh, shortlisted into universities of your choices. You get a lot of lab and R&D units get uh, shortlist you and you get finally good jobs in there. And yes, the NGOs and corporates hire researchers which high H index and high index scores. So these these are some of the direct direct benefits you can look for. So yep, I agree that initially publishing one, two, three, four, five or ten research papers may not yield you uh, the results because it takes a lot of time and effort and ultimately whether or not you will get uh, these many citations and your I index and H index will increase or not, that is beyond your control. But yes, if you're if you're developing quality paper and if these quality papers are really get listed into some of the good research journals, remain unwarried, your indexes will increase and so will increase your job opportunities, your possibilities of getting grants and uh, doing things of your choices in, in research tantrum. Right, friends. So I hope this video will help you. Thank you very much for listening. And if you think that I have added value to your uh, research uh, acumen, then please like, share and subscribe because if not us, then some of us are in need of such kind of motivations and knowledge that we are sharing at Perceptive Research. Thank you very much. Thank you.